In this video I'm going to uh, give a demonstration on how you can do hard bronze brazing um, up to an inch in diameter in your home workshop uh, using standard LPG gas bottle. Um, hard bronze braze is this stuff. This is uh, the sort of stuff you would normally use with oxyacetylene but as I said you can braze with LPG under the right uh, circumstances. This is yellow tip aluminium based bronze which is the stuff that uh, plumbers use to do uh, plumbing with copper pipe. This is a soft bronze, it's not a structural bronze as such and uh, as I said this uh, isn't the bronze we'll be talking about. This melts at a much lower temperature, it's not nowhere near as strong as the hard bronze but we'll be using the hard bronze. This is. Uh, the sort of thing that you would use to braze uh, carbide tips onto lathe tooling or um, if you want to bronze um, ferrous metals together, uh, dissimilar ferrous metals together, cast to steel, steel to stainless, cast to stainless, uh, you name it. Uh, this is the stuff you would use and it's extremely strong and it's extremely hard wearing. Okay, now as I said, you need a, the right equipment to do this. You can't do it with just any old LPG gun. It has to be a gun designed for the job. Now in this case it's a Bullfinch Auto Torch. It's made in the UK. It's a model 4100. Um, this is basically sold as a hard bronze brazing gun. It'll do soft bronze. You can also use, general, use it for general heating work bending, you know, annealing, uh, but in this demonstration we're going to be using for bronze brazing. This will do up to about an inch uh, in a non-windy non situation um, and just for demonstration to make it fast I'll just do some small components. I mean this sort of system is great if you want to repair stuff like carburetor linkages or uh, bronze chains together or uh, fabricate uh, model um, engine components um, it's good for uh, small to medium stuff but if you want to do big components you'd have to go to oxyacetylene there's no other way to do it but for this demonstration I'll do some small stuff just to make it quick in this case it's a bit of scrap out the scrap bin a bit of old metal rod we'll just bronze those together now you can see I've got it resting on a pieces of lightweight square section steel. When you're doing um, bronzing with LPG you want to keep your heat loss to a minimum so you don't want any heat transfer. You wouldn't do this on the vice. It would drag a, a more heat out than you want so you, 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 you try and insulate it to some degree. You could actually put this on house bricks and that would do it extremely well because the house brick will concentrate the heat and acts as an insulator. You could put a little half if you want to do a big item. And if you had a a bigger item than the gun was designed for. I mean, what you can do is use a normal butane gun to actually give it a, a boost, so you can actually use two, two two guns. You can actually get somebody to preheat it with the ordinary gun and do the bronzing at the same time with the uh, with the but with the uh, bullfinch gun. In this case, we're just going to do it straight off on a bit of steel. It's a normal 25 degree night in Adelaide, so I'll start it up and give you a go. Yeah, 
that's it. As quick as that. Okay, I'll put this in a bit of water to cool it down, just in case uh, it's too hot to handle. There you go. So there's the the bronze brazing that we did. Now that is a perfectly uh, strong bronze job. It's gone all the way around. It's bronze will capillarate around the, the item or actually capillarate into gaps between items. So this is why it's extremely useful. Uh, it doesn't um, er erode the uh, item that you're welding like an arc uh, or a, uh, a stick welder will. Um, bronze is a filler. It's not a it doesn't burn into the item so you can basically join very lightweight small components or any components together without da actually damaging the base materials uh, it's extremely strong it's extremely hard wearing and as I said you can use it for brazing carbide to steel and um, tungsten to steel so it's ideal for anybody but it's got a lathe or a mill and they want to make their own cutters up um, piece of cake well, there you have it. Um, it's as easy as that. As I said, you can only do it if you've got the right gun. You have to have a gun like this. Um, and uh, in Australia, these cost about $250. But they paid for themselves in a very short time because they use very little gas. Um, and uh, they're incredibly handy for, uh, for workshop use. So there you have it, folks. Um, yes, it is possible. Um, but you must have a gun designed for the job. This type of gun has been around for about 15 years now, so it's not exactly the very latest technology uh, as far as uh, new arrivals, but it is probably the state of the art in technology um, on the LPG front um, to do this sort of work. So yes, excellent thing to buy. Um, get yourself one and uh, you'll never look back. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.